Fear stops us from achieving our true greatness. Are you a professional woman who is feeling stuck, unmotivated, or burned out? Are you worried about your wellness? Are you letting fear stop you from crushing your goals? If you answered yes to any or all of these, then this is the podcast for you. Dr. Charmaine Gregory, night shift emergency physician, burnout thriver, and wellness champion, along with everyday heroes just like you, will explore how to face fear in our lives and emerge victoriously. Hey, thanks for checking out this episode. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when the next video comes out. It only takes two seconds to make two clicks. So let's do it. Let's get back to the video. Hello, 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 Fearless Freedom family. This is Dr. G and we are back for another exciting episode of the podcast. Today we have Donna Tastian and she is going to tell you all about herself, what she's up to, and she's up to some amazing things. So you're going to want to have your ears ready to listen. Hello, it is a pleasure to be here today. Awesome. 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 Yeah. You got to let us know like what you do, who you are, what you're up to. Um, I am a life mastery coach. I am the founder of Vibrant Living International and um, I have been coaching and helping women. Uh, you stop counting after 20 years, I think. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Um, yes. Um, I'm a wife and a mom and a grandmother. And I live in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, some little fun facts. I love tea and jazz music and my puppy dogs. Well, jazz music, you're in the right place, huh? Because from my, my <laughs> understanding is Grand Rapids has a nice little music culture. It does have a nice music culture, yeah. And, awesome. Um, yeah. So as far as what I do as a life mastery coach, I focus on helping people rise above pain and disappointment of life so that they can live the life they've always dreamed with confidence and ease. Awesome. Awesome. Who can use a little bit of that? You can all use a little bit of that. Yes, we went we through can last year. <laughs> and we're currently going through. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So that's kind of funny that you said Grand Rapids because um been to Grand Rapids probably one time. I went there for a mm -hmm. meeting. So I popped in and popped out. Really wanted to go back lived in Michigan for 16 years and never actually like went back there and visited because uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but um, I hear it's a really nice town. Everybody who has been there, visited, lived there, seemed to like it. So mm -hmm. there must be some validity to that, right? It's, it's it a nice is, town. It is a wonderful place to live. Yes. Oh, awesome. 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 Yeah. Awesome. So you got to tell us, how did you get into coaching? I mean, that's not like, usually there's a really big backstory behind that. There is a backstory behind that. Um, well, I've always had some capacity of what I would have called mentoring or discipleship prior to the event I'm about to tell you about. So there, it's always been in something that I was doing and, and I didn't really realize it. And I um, was working, um, helping my husband with his company and working as a realtor and not really loving it. And so I was looking for that thing that would be able to touch that passion point um, sure. that we have in our hearts when we're, when we're heart-centered servers. And so I got a job at a nonprofit organization that I thought was going to be the thing that I would be able to do to be able to touch that part of me that wanted to be able to make a difference and it was, it seemed to be going well for a while and then management changed and I was let go. You know, those things that happen when you can remember exactly the time, the weather, the date, it was one of those days. It was the 31st of March and it was those cold spring. Well, it wasn't really spring yet here in Michigan, but the rain is like icy kind of sideways. And it matched my face as I walked out of the place. Um, I was really surprised and perhaps still surprised today how hard it hit me. I had put all my eggs in that basket. I felt like the rug was knocked out from under me. I couldn't catch my breath and I didn't feel worth anything, valuable, 
felt like my life was kind of over. And in that moment, through that process, Vibrant Living was born. It was the worst and the best day of my life, if you will, because I am doing things I never imagined doing, facing fears that I never imagined facing, and being able to make a bigger impact. One of the things is about fear is there's fear that is I'm afraid of the monster under the bed. I'm afraid of something, the lion chasing me. I'm afraid of things that cause the flight or flight kind of feeling. But then there's fear when you're encountering your dream, when you're encountering something that you're like, wow, I would love that, but oh my God, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> That's a different kind of fear. That's um, the, he the, in Hebrews, they have two different words for those two different kinds of fear is, is when you're encountering something, perhaps touching the divine, where you're encountering your calling and your purpose and your passion. And so on that, as I walked forward, I began to encounter that kind of fear, but I did some of the other two was freaking out, going, I <laughs> trying to figure out how to do that. And that's one of the things. So through that process, I call it turning our baggage into luggage so that we can live the life we've always dreamed. It's turning those things that seem like awful days, awful moments, awful periods of time into something that we can utilize instead of just hurting in it. Oh my gosh, that is a fantastic story. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah, no, totally. I can see that. Like, you know, I was with you the whole time. And I mean, I think like, you know, oftentimes when we are, you, so basically what you're saying is you had the ultimate test that allowed for your testimony of having vibrant living be born out of ultimate pain. So that right there is amazing because, uh, you know, when we are in that, when we're in those moments, when we're in those low points, like we don't think that there is a tomorrow. Like we're like, oh my God, this is it. This is the end of the end of everything. You know, how am I going to, you know, get up out of bed tomorrow? Like you right. have that perspective and, you know, to be able to have the wherewithal, to have the strength, to be able to face the fear of like, what can I do next? That's absolutely amazing and very inspiring because a lot of people, particularly <clears throat> most recently with this situation that we're in, mm -hmm. have not been able to do that. You know, they've, they've, they've had, <clears throat> you know, maybe they had all their eggs in one basket, like you mentioned, and that kind of like went, you know, bottoms up and now there is no alternative and they're struggling to face the fear of reinvention of pivoting and they can't. Right. So that is amazing. And then you did this many years ago, you said. You don't want to tell us yeah. how many years. They said once you get yeah. over 20 years, you know, it's like, my gosh, it, don't it, even really count was, anymore. It was quite a few years ago that this all occurred. Um, and learning to be able to move forward. The thing that we feel like we don't have a choice, but there always is opportunity there. And some of the keys that I talk about is developing my understanding that in any pain point, in any type of disappointment, there's the opportunity to grow. See, baggage thinking, as I use my terminology, baggage thinking is why this happened. This isn't fair. This isn't right. This isn't just, I don't deserve this. And, um, you know, it's the pity party for one. <laughs> And, and a lot of times, all of those statements are true. It, it, the person that what I had the conflict was, was it handled properly? No. Um, it was, again, but it was the worst thing, but the best thing that could have happened. But luggage thinking is, is I can't change it, but I'm going to see how I can use it to grow, to become better, to become a better version of me. Now that's luggage thinking. I call these kind of things gifts wrapped in sandpaper. Mm. They rub you us to the get, wrong you way. Got to get, uh, get a little mm. injured first before yeah, you get unwrapped. They hurt. <laughs> it, it doesn't feel good, but if we can persevere and learn how to make the gold in it, um, 
I heard a story. You've probably heard it. It's an old story about two kids put in a room full of horse manure or some kind of poop. And the little one of the little kids just sits down and cries. My life is full of you know what. Right. And <laughs> and the other little kid knocks on the door and says, can I have a shovel? Why do you want a shovel with this much poop? There's got to be a pony in here somewhere. Nice. <laughs> that is perspective. I love that. And I'm I like, had wow. I not heard that story, but that's a good one. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sure I would have had that perspective. At times I did not. But learning how to begin to, it's like when it's hurting and when it's hard, where's the gift? Where's the right. gift? Right. Um, where's the point that I can learn and grow? Because as you move through it, you become stronger. We are stronger than we think. And learning how to grow through difficult times, reinvent yourself is exactly it. It's like, I, that was one of the questions I said, what do I want to be now that I'm all grown up? Uh-huh. There you go. You know? <laughs> and it's like, what do I want to be? What do I want to do? And it's like, how do I move forward with this? Because we all have these labels, I did, of what I somebody else put or we put on ourselves. This is all you can do. This is all you're capable of. This is where you fit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it isn't always the truth, rarely actually, the truth of all that we can do because there's so much more. So I have four steps for the understanding part. Search for the gift. Keep a bigger picture in mind. We get to looking at our feet. <laughs> if you look down, we're looking, you know, this is the end. It's, I, it's hopeless, but look up and don't let this thing be the whole chapter or the whole book of your life. Let it be a portion of the book. In every good story, there's a bad event. <laughs> in oh, yeah. every good story, it's always a conflict, always. <laughs> and have compassion for other people. Um, that's forgiveness. It is key to moving forward. When we stay in resentment, we stay stuck and get help. I got a coach to help me get a coach, get somebody, get somebody you can help to get you through, especially if it's really difficult for you. Not as great advice. I love those steps. They're super simple and they are effective. So yes. thank you for sharing that. Oh my yep. gosh. Yeah, no. So the audience is aware of like, because, uh, you know, we've we've been through ups and downs together. So they um, they're definitely aware of, uh, you know, there being a test usually before there's a testimony. But mm -hmm. um, no, this is good. It's that I like the perspective that you bring. And I love that you have it broken down into such palatable steps. That's helpful to those listening. So, you know, yeah. you have to let us know, like, so who is it? So you, you mentioned like what you do, but who do you serve? Like who is your, what they, whatever they call it, avatar? Who do you serve? Yes, <clears throat> I work with women. That's who I coach. And I do it one-on-one -on -one and in groups. And there are people that women that have had some type of, that usually fall into two areas, um, painful childhood, perhaps abuse, all kinds you know, abandonment and sexual neglect and all, all, all kinds. So to fall into that category, one of the things we do as women, perhaps men too, but we say we're fine and we're okay. We're really not. But a lot of times we have to be, we don't have a choice. We have to keep going. But at some point, anything that's buried will still come out. So learning how to, um, get help in that. So that's one area. And then people that have had a difficult relationships, women that's had some type of difficult relationship that it didn't end the way they thought tend to be the two areas that I work the most in. Fantastic. No, that's good. Because now, you know, now they have a better understanding of who, who you serve, then they can see if you align with what they are looking right. for. Right. So I appreciate right. you saying you you're getting into that in more detail. And then the next thing is, how can somebody get in contact with you? Well, my website is ivibrantliving.com. You can, and that's easy there. You can schedule a consultation with me. There's, and it's absolutely complimentary to see, and let's talk and see if we're a good fit for each other. 
or you just want somebody to talk to, because if I'm not the right one, I'm connected with amazing people and we'll find the help for you if I'm not the right person. So schedule a consultation and let's have a conversation about it. Um, I'm also on Facebook. It's Mona, It's my biggest social media. So you'll see my name in the show notes. So you can find me there. And Vibrant Living is also there. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Great. Hey, it's Dr. G. And I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank you for listening to this episode. I'm so honored to have you here with me. Did you know that I can help you to get your own podcast started? With my podcasting launch course for professionals, I walk you through everything you need to know about starting a podcast. I'm with you every step of the way from sign up to launching your show with five episodes ready to go. There's a done for you version that's also available. If you would just rather just do recordings and leave the behind the scenes work up to us, then that one is definitely for you. But either way, we've got your back here at Fearless Freedom with Dr. G. Oh, if you already have a show and you need production services, we have monthly plans available for you. So check out the links in the episode show notes for more information. Let's get back to the show. Fabulous. And so, you know, so now, okay, you, you told us the big event mm -hmm. and you told us that you got to a place of, of victory, but you didn't tell us how exactly that happened. Like, you know, how did it happen? Like, did you, you got a coach, you got that part, mm -hmm. but then yeah. what happened after you got the coach? Like what made you decide that this was a thing you're going to pursue? Well, the vision that I had, I'm a woman of faith. And so I did a lot of prayer around the, the situation and what I was supposed to do next. Um, because I knew what I would, my inner critic wasn't the truth, even though we feel like it at the moment. Um, and so what I saw was this red thread going through my life where I was always doing some type of mentoring and coaching. So I, I had lost a job, so I didn't have the income but I went back to school and I learned how to do it even better. And through that process is where I got the coach and learned how to, now I have three coaching certifications. I'm also an ordained minister through all of that process. But the picture was, as I was at church one day and someone said, they knew I was going through a hard time. And they said, I just keep getting this, this one word for you. And so I want to tell you what it is. And I'm like, okay. And she goes, it's vivacious. And I'm like, and I, and I said it and I kind of wrinkled my face. I'm like, I don't really even know. I'm thinking, I don't really know what vivacious means. It's not a word like we use all every day. So it wouldn't leave me alone. So I went and looked it up. And one of the definitions or synonyms of it is vibrant. And through that vibrant living, was the name that um, of this that I started because of that whole process of seeking out what's the answers. I call it just taking baby steps. You don't really mm -hmm. know where it's going to lead. Um, you begin to take baby steps in and check out different things. It's like, is this it? Is this it? And you begin to pray for me and seek the answer because there's always an answer. There is always a way. It's only impossible if I think it's impossible. And so learning to expand and to grow and to have someone stretch us to be who we were actually created to be because our potential is incredible. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No. Oh my goodness. Speaking the truth so much, so much. Yep. Yeah. No. So I love, I love so many things that you said. So you, you keep going back to this concept that I think a lot of people don't grasp and that is thinking big, right? Because like I, uh, the other day I was talking to, um, I have a millionaire mentor. And so he was telling me, he was like, you know what? Um, he asked me one of my goals and I told him what the goal was. And he said, okay, now 10 X that. Yep. <laughs> and in my mind, I'm like, what? I can't yep. 10 X that. 
And he's like, no, you need to 10 X that because you're not thinking big enough. And that is such a classic human thing, right? Like we Mm -hmm. tend to like, as you said, look at our feet and we put ourselves Mm -hmm. in this box and we don't like think really, really big, like think out into the stratosphere, like think huge because we are capable, as you also said, of greatness. And it's a matter of tapping into that. But if you don't have the vision, I love the word. I love that you use the word vision, that if you don't have the vision, it's never going to happen, right? Because if you can't visualize the thing, you will never be the thing. And mm-hmm. so so that is just really, really cool that your journey, you know, included that. And then you also said that, um, so did you find your coach while you were in training? Is that where you found yeah, your coach? It was, okay. it was part, it was part of the school. It was, it was, um, they provided coaches and, and, and I didn't know to the depth that I needed one. Got it. Um, yeah. and how much, and then when I got out of school, I've got more, you know, I've continued, I still have coaches, um, because I see the value, um, you always, some, some coaches can only, are only for certain periods of time and can only take you so far um, because they can only take you to the level they've grown. And when you continue to grow, sometimes you need new coaches. So it's just, I've continued to grow with my coaches, but I, but mine did the same thing says, all right, add two zeros to that. And I'm like, two. Oh, I'm yeah. like, I don't know about one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and being like, able, oh. but but for me, the income, the dollar value thing equals how many people. That's right. That's right. You know, that's it exactly equals right. The people that I'm impacting, that I'm able to make, help them elevate, help them be all that they can be, help them help them grow to whatever level. And so that's all that the dollar, I mean, money's nice, but that's what it means to me is people. It's Mm -hmm, helping people mm -hmm. and helping them grow. So everybody who has a conversation with me always comes away with some kind of nugget, something that's going to help them grow. And I, and I have, that is my intention and my expectation. And I've not been disappointed yet. Well, so far you're not disappointing in this conversation (laughs) either. So that's good. Good. That's good. (laughs) That's That's excellent. Oh my gosh. Wow. No, that's fantastic. You know, so this is another thing that you bring up that I think that people tend to in general, not appreciate. And, you know, having a coach, no matter who you are, having a coach really does make all the difference because it just really helps you to get to wherever you're trying to get to a whole lot faster when you're dealing with somebody who has expertise in that area that can steer you in the correct direction. So you're not like, they basically trim the fat for you, right? Because it's like, okay, I need, I want to learn how to do X, Y, Z. You're going to have to go and read about it, watch videos about it, et cetera, et cetera. Why not go to somebody who has expertise in that area so that they can steer you quickly to that destination? And uh, yeah, it's always kind of funny to me that people don't have coaches. Like I've, I've always had a coach. Realize. Yeah. What we yeah, don't they, realize is that the wealthy people, the people that are influential, they all have multiple oh, coaches. Oh, several coaches, several coaches. And, and we don't realize how big of a difference is that is a reflection of how they got to where they are. And so Absolutely. And it, you don't have to, I, you know, I have people who are changing the world by raising children and, you know, and then, and then people who are destined, who feel like they're called to do more, you know, in, in life than, or different, it's not more, but different. And so it doesn't really matter for me as a personal coach, I help you be the best you, you can be whatever that is. And so it could be something you think is really grand or it could be um, as wiping noses and helping children be the best they can they can be. We need those kind of things in the world as well. And overcoming our fears and believing that you are valuable and precious is important. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, no. Yeah, I always say, hey, if LeBron can have like <laughs> several coaches. Yeah. And, you know, and that guy is like top echelon in his craft. Hey, I, sh- I should be having several coaches too. So I can get 
That's right. That's so right. yeah, no, that's no, such value to that. Awesome. 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 And then, so um, we are at that. Thank you so much for sharing all these nuggets. It's amazing. Audience really Thank appreciates you. it. And so we're at that point in the show where we're going to do the uh, tradition, which is fill in the blanks. So are you ready? Are you ready? I'm for ready. The blanks? Okay. Awesome. All right. So the first one is to me, fearless freedom means. I have. I really like that question. To me, I think as I ponder what you said, it means freedom means free from outside influences. That I'm not being who you think I should be or who that person thinks I should be or whatever. It's just, I get to, with outside influences that are not there, I just get to be me. I put it, I get to be who God created me to be. And part of the gift in that is I'm discovering who that is because there's gifts inside of us that we don't realize. So to me, that's true freedom. Awesome. Awesome. The next one is if I am fearless, I will. I will love abundantly or live abundantly and love extravagantly. That's what I would do. Nice. Nice. And then last but not least, my battle cry is. Hmm. I think the center that I would say that really centers me as far as grounding me would be a bad, good battle cry for me. It's that I'm loved, that God loves me, that I'm cherished, that I'm special. And somehow then when you face adversities and fears that you know, no matter what, other people may be rejecting your ideas or rejecting you is knowing that I'm loved centers and, and makes me feel stable. Awesome. 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 Thank you so much for spending time with me yes. and the Fearless Freedom Tribe. Um, you know, we appreciate you and um, we're definitely going to check you out. Uh, so thank you. thank you for sharing a nice description of what you do and who you serve and your website. Um, and uh, if you don't mind sharing it one more time, just to make sure that we have another time point here where we have it. The website is ivibrantliving.com. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. All right. My take care. Pleasure. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Fearless Freedom with Dr. G. Again, I'm Dr. G. And if you like this episode, be sure to subscribe so that you can get notified of when the next episode is going to be. And also, I'll catch you next time. Have a great one. Be strong, be brave, and unleash your greatness.